Hey, everybody. Let's take a few minutes today to talk about the Forenscope tablet. Okay, I talked to you earlier today about the Forenscope CSI Pro smartphone and also the Patrol smartphone. The tablet is similar to the CSI Pro smartphone. Similar in that it is Android based. It has an external battery to power the attached light source. It has a, a filter wheel that you access here at the top. Uh, light source controls where you can change your, your, your wavelength. But it also has infrared capability. And the, the smartphones do not have that capability. So the real standout feature for the tablet is that infrared capability because it gives you the ability to locate and document blood and GSR, which is obviously a really valuable capability. So let's look at the device a little bit. Like I said, it is an Android-based device. There is the attached uh, battery here on the back and then the attached uh, light source ring, similar to the phone in that it's uh, an array of LEDs around the camera. Uh, there's a the filter wheel right here. You roll this uh, wheel around to the desired uh, filter and then turn on the external battery and there is white light UV, violet, blue, and the IR2 setting, the infrared 2 setting. You can see those infrared LEDs. Here's the blue, bright. Look at that. Violet, the white light. UV, really nice device. In addition to the filter wheel where you access the, the different filters, there is also a switch here to switch between the UV and visible spectrum over to the infrared spectrum. So you slide that over. So I'll slide it back to the left and slide it back to the right to go into the infrared setting. So on the infrared setting, I'm typically using the infrared light. Kind of makes sense. Okay. Now, just like the phone, there is uh, image management software built in to manage your cases, manage what you've documented. I'll open that up. Open up my album open up my camera. So same software interface through Android that you have with the CSI Pro smartphone and the Patrol smartphone. So because it has similar capabilities to the CSI uh, Pro smartphone, I'll show you a few of those. I'm going to switch heads. So this is another capability that the tablet has. I'll unhook the power right here, okay? Loosen this thumb screw and slide off this head. So this is a macro head for overall searching and documenting, you know, at more of a distance. There are two macro heads, one for crime scene and laboratory work, and then this head which is primarily for document examination. And then this is the micro head. Okay, has a lens in it. So I'll slide that on here. That'll attach to the device. Oops. Give me one second. Okay, tighten that thumb screw and then plug the power back in right there. 
Okay. So now this is my light source. White UV violet blue and then this head has infrared one and infrared two okay so i'm going to i'm in the uv visible setting here with the primary filter the secondary filter set to the orange filter and just like with the csi pro smartphone i can let me turn on my blue light setting I could document fingerprints that have been processed. So just like with the phone, tap the screen to focus. I can make some adjustments here. I'm going to go into my negative setting. Tap and focus. Take the picture. Here's another latent right here. Tap to focus. And take the picture. Okay, really easy, just like with the smartphone. Look at that. Lots of detail. Looks great. Works great. Okay, so dye stains, DFO, fluorescent powders. Let's open the camera back up. So just like with our smartphone, Put the micro lens against the surface. I touch, tap the screen to focus on the print. Let's again go in to negative. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at all that detail. Okay, focus. Take my picture. Let's look at that one. Yeah, great. Really great detail. Okay. So also, just like the CSI Pro smartphone, body fluids. Okay. I can visualize and document body fluids. There's a semen stain. Take a picture. See with this micro head, you get a lot of detail. I can see the fabric weave. Okay. Now, the standout feature, like I said, infrared. All right. So let's let's look at some GSR. Always hard to find, but not anymore. Okay, so let's take our secondary filter and go to the open setting. Let's switch our IR filter. Switch to our IR filter. Let's go to IR2. Okay, open our camera. All right, so piece of uh, black t-shirt fabric and uh, a 38 round penetrated the fabric right here. You can't see any of the GSR around here, but with this, now I can see, let me get this to focus here. There we go. Okay, I can see the bullet residue around here, and I can see the GSR particles all through here. I know it's hard for you to see. Let me take a picture. And show you that. So here's the picture I just took. Okay, this is the residue. And these are GSR particles. Wow, look at that. Can you do that currently with your existing technology? Probably not. Right, let's show you something else here. So there's my GSR. I'm going to go in here to my settings. 
and I'm going to change to negative. Now I have a dark background and my GSR particles are all lit up in a lighter color. There you go, look at them. That's all GSR. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so you can find GSR with this. You can also find very small traces of blood spatter. Okay, so I've got a piece of fabric here with a imprint on it. All right, let's go back here. I'm still in infrared too, still open filter here, still IR filter here. Open the camera, okay? And I can scan across the surface and that background, that imprint has dropped out under the infrared lighting. And all I end up seeing is this one tiny drop of diluted blood. I've got a photo scale up here. I'm, I'm focusing on the photo scale and I take my picture and let me show you that tiny drop of blood. Look at that. Wow. Tiny. You see the weave of the fabric. Tiny drop of blood. And it's diluted. It's, it's not pure blood. It's got a little water mixed with it. All right. So now you have the capability to document treated fingerprints with the tablet, locate and document body fluids. But you've got the extraordinary capability of locating and documenting GSR and blood. You probably can't do that right now with your existing capability. You can with the Forenscope tablet. Great device. Okay, if anybody has any questions, let us know. Contact us at Evident. You can go to our website at shopevident.com. We've got the Forenscope devices available in a course of course, you can always count on us for all of our other supplies, our evidence bags, our fingerprint products, our DNA collection supplies. We do have respirators in stock. We're getting other PPE in over time. So if you need anything, please let us know. Everybody stay safe. Thanks.